Well, we're having a, a quiet night around here. It's a silent night. Look at Evie. Evie, you leave me alone. <laughs> Stop bothering me. Evie. Hey, Evie. She's still got her, her collar on. That's going all right. She's purring. I don't know if you can hear it. Yeah, she's purring a little bit. And then over there, look, it's a punky no. It's a punky do. Hey, punky do. I don't have her collar on her yet. She just reemerged from the alternate universe. Blop. She's purring. Yeah. Hey, pumpkin. You want something? You want a thing? You want something? Pumpkin. Oh, she's purring too. Hey, what are you doing? Olive, the kitten, she's, she's downstairs asleep somewhere. I don't know. I just have I just have these two up here right now. That's, that's all I got. <laughs> oh, look at her cute little pose. Look at her. Look at her little hand. Evie. Evie. <laughs> She'd love it if I'd shut up and turn the light off. I do not have one lick of makeup on. You know why? Because I spent all day working today. Yes, even the week of Christmas, they're, they're, they're still giving us a lot to do. So, woo, and it doesn't matter because we're actually, the video I'm doing tonight, I don't have to show my face anyway. And I didn't have to see anybody except my kids and they don't care what I look like. But um, I did, re I, I stopped, I, I just finished up work at about eight o'clock tonight and I'm not done. I'm gonna have to, tomorrow's my day off, but I gotta work tomorrow too. But I did, I took off the nail polish that I had on. It's actually, the color I had on is really pretty. It's kind of like a, it has this purple glitter in it and it's like this purplish grayish color. And it's really pretty, but in my videos, it just shows up as dark gray. So I decided I would go with something a little lighter and more festive. This is, what is this? This is SE something or other mosaic on down and that's two coats i have not done a top coat and i still have nail polish all over my fingers so <laughs> i have to get that off oh and i want to show you i've got these socks i want to show you these socks i did i got i got these socks today i ordered them a few days ago um i love i love bombas socks um but i only buy them when they have a sale because <laughs> they're they're pricey. I mean, but they're worth it though. These are the best socks. I love them. And I got these two pairs here. Look at look how cool these are. Look at look at these cool little ankle socks. Aren't they neat? I loved I just I love the colors and the pattern of this pair. They're just so freaking cool. I had to have these these little socks here. And then I got this pair and they have they have a little B on them look I love the orange on them and then you, it's like a honeycomb pattern here and you put it on your foot let's see how it looks so across the top of your foot it's gonna look like that and you get a little bit of this little orange right there it kind of comes around your toe a little bit and you have this pretty kind of a plum color here and then this light blue I just thought they were super cute they just came in the mail today and um, Bomba socks. I get those for Glenda the Good Witch every year because he loves these socks. So every year I wait for them to do their Christmas sale and I buy some. And then they, they did another sale after after that and I, I decided I wanted, I wanted these two pairs right here. <laughs> so yeah, so I got my socks. I'm gonna wash them before I wear them. So I'm gonna actually pitch them in the laundry. I wonder if I could hit the laundry basket. If I can't hit it from here, that's really pitiful. I got both pairs in a noise. Of course, you don't know. I could be lying to you, but I did. They went in there. Um, I, I had to tell you about my exercise class yesterday. I was kind of underdressed because a lot of people were more dressed up than me. There were a lot of people there. And apparently, okay, now I, I was not aware 
of this, but apparently this, this class that I go to is one that they do, this group does every year, and it's, it's um, choreographed. Basically, it's 90 minutes, it was an hour and a half, 90 minutes long, choreographed. And as soon as the music starts, now I got in the very back of the room because I cannot dance, okay? And don't expect me to hop and clap and kick at the same time because I'm gonna break a bone or I'm gonna hurt somebody or knock something over. Just don't ask me to do that. Well, the music starts at the beginning of this class and I'm back there, unfortunately, there were a couple other people who had never done it before. We were all in the back, like, just don't look at us. Just, you know, forget we're here. <laughs> and the music starts. And then I just had this visual in my head, right? So there are probably 20 people all, you know, spread out up in front, like this big room, right? There were like 20 people in front of me and they all start snapping. They're doing this, like, I can't, I can't show you. Like they're bent way down and they're going, and it's like I'm watching damn West Side Story. I'm going, what the hell are they? And I'm back here with these other people and we're like, what are they doing? And then they start going this way and they start shuffling and they start kicking and, and, they, and then there's a clap and I didn't know it was coming. And then you have to twirl around and then twirl the other way and then there's two claps and then you're snapping again and you got your legs going out. And I'm like, I have an hour and a half of this shit ahead of me. All right. Let's try it. So I'm just back there. Fortunately, I could see, I couldn't see, there were three different instructors and they were taking turns. They each had different segments of this hour. And they knew when to go up there. They were, it's not like one was there 30, one 30. No, no, one would go up there for like five minutes, 10 minutes, and then the other one would just dart up there. And they somehow knew when to go. I don't, I don't know, it's telepathy. I don't know what. Okay, anyway, so I'm back there and I couldn't really see the teacher most of the time. So, but there was this one lady, I could see her pretty, I, I had a pretty good view of her most of the time. So I was just following her because she seemed to know every move before they did it. But there were plenty of other people, but I could just see her the best. So I just kept my eye on her and like, I'm just trying to do what she's doing. You know, back, oh, oh, now we're doing this now. And about the time I figure out what we were doing, they had already changed. They were already doing something else. Like they're, they're scoot, boot, scooting over that way. And I'm still over here like a, like a dumbass. Like, I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> but I tell you what, it was fun. Apparently there is a learning curve, but these are people who, they, they do this every year. They do the same stuff every year, apparently, or similar. These people knew what they were doing. So I did not. There were times you had to twirl you had to cross your legs and then spin around like Michael Jackson or something. I never, I never got that. I'd get about three quarters of the way around and I would run out of spin and I just sort of have to <laughs> do a little football run and turn the other quarter. But by the time I got around, hell, they'd already moved on to something else. They were doing jumping jacks and I'm back here like, ah. so, but yeah, it was, it was fun, but there is a heck of a learning curve and I'm going to try to see if I can get better at it. I talked to one of the one of the teachers and I'm I'm going to see if I can get better at it. I want this I like finding things I can't do. I, my hair is I'm like alfalfa. Damn. There's no hairspray in my hair. So, I I like to find things I can't do to see if I can get better at it because clearly this is something I need to get better at. So I, I'm, I think I'm going to try to find time in my schedule to go to these classes more because I've this is a class I've never done. Now, people ask me, how'd you get into all these classes? Well, the main thing I do, it's an informal thing where we meet all over town and it's just an informal group. You come when you can. It's five dollars per class. If you can't make it, don't worry about it. That's the main thing I do. But this time of year is getting cold. So I have memberships at several gyms around that have exercise classes. I do those um, and there are, you know, there are other informal groups. Sometimes I get involved in those if I can. So I'm kind of all over the place. I do it when I can. Now, tonight I couldn't because I had to work. Like I say, I was, you know, I was going to go to something tonight at six. I was not able to make it because I was still working. So, but uh, I'm going to a class tomorrow night that I'm not very familiar with. But I'm, I'm going to start trying to see if I can do some of these aerobic dance class things. Because it looks like, it looked like the people who knew what they were doing, it looked like they were having a lot of fun. 
And I had a lot of fun, and the, and the thing that gave me hope was there were a couple of moments during this 90 minutes where they were doing a, a move, right? And I'm watching, I'm going, okay, I oh God, I got it. And now they had already moved on to something else, but it gave me, it gave me hope. It gave, it gave me hope, like, I got that. If it comes around again, I will know how to do that. Oh, shit, here we go again, you know. And I, I got a good workout. I mean, I was sweaty when I left there. I was, it was definitely a good workout. I think a lot of it, though, was just, I think a lot of my workout was just trying to catch up to whatever they were doing. <laughs> and what I really, the, the part of it that I didn't like, though, there were some parts of, in each, um, there were, oh God, part of it was we had to do the electric slide. Now I have a confession as a Gen Xer, I, I cannot say this without, I'm going to get strung up, but you know, you can't say this as a Gen Xer. I never learned how to do the electric slide. I never did. I don't know how to do it. Well, the first, the first thing that we did as a warm up was the electric slide. And I'm going, oh my God, now everybody here is going to know I don't know how to do this. So, and part, and, that, and there were several other times during this hour and a half where they were doing an exercise that involved quarter turns. So eventually you're going to be turned this way or that way or that way. And there were times that everybody was facing us, those in the back that didn't know what, what we were doing. I'm like, can we just get back? Okay, everybody look over there. <laughs> you know, though, you kind of you kind of lose your, your sense of self, uh, what do you call it, self-consciousness. You don't worry about it so much. I didn't, well, I didn't worry about it so much after about 10 minutes. Like, I don't, I don't give a shit. These people up here, you know what? They're so into the stance, they don't care. And I know I'm not the only one in here who can't keep up with whatever's going on up there. They're, they're doing a bunny hop or something. And I'm still back here trying to do whatever we were doing a minute ago. Dang it. But I had hope. I had moments of hope where I actually knew what I was doing. And that let me know that, yeah, okay, maybe right now I'm not very good at whatever this is, but I can learn. I can learn, and I do like to learn new things. So I'm going to keep going when I can. It's not a class I can get to very often, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to learn how to do it. And hopefully by next Christmas, I will be able to actually do what they were doing. That's my goal. I'm hoping by next Christmas I can do a 90-minute uh thing where you're you're but you're dancing the entire 90 minutes there's really no the, the breaks are like 10 seconds literally there were just no breaks in there you just you had to take a break when you needed one to get you some water or whatever it was 90 minutes straight it was crazy but yeah i'm gonna do it i'm gonna learn how to do that and i'm gonna do the christmas dance next year this time and I'm gonna I'm gonna be even more Christmassy. I'm gonna put together an outfit ahead of time, and I'm gonna be prepared. And I'm gonna go in there and dance my jingle belled ass off. That's my goal. That's my goal for this coming year. <laughs> I think it's a pretty you know worthy goal. So I didn't really worry about makeup either because I hadn't had time to put it on. But this is what we're doing tonight on my regular channel. It's it's a little hobby horse. I found this at Joanne Fabrics and Crafts. We're gonna color this hobby horse and put balls on it. Look, it comes with balls and uh, rhinestones. They only give you three markers, though. I think I'm gonna have to use some of my own markers. It's just a, it's just a little balsa wood rocking horse. So we're just gonna be coloring that. That may not take very long. I probably should have gotten two of these. Whatever, I don't care. That's what we're doing because <laughs> I don't really have anything else planned. So we're doing this. Awesome. So, oh, it says it only takes 15 minutes to make. We're gonna have to make it. We're gonna have to make it last longer than that. Anyway, I hope you had a good day. I had a good day. I have to take Olive to the vet tomorrow. I'm not looking forward to that. She's got to go get her rabies uh, vaccine booster thingy. She's got to get a checkup and all that good stuff. So, but uh, Evie and Pumpkin, I'm taking after the holidays. I'm. I'm I can't take them all three at once. No, you, you get one of them in a cat carrier, the other two just vanish. They're like, I want nothing. I want none of that. No, thank you. So they just take off. So I just, I always schedule them each for different days. I mean, it's more going back and forth, but it, it just works. It just works better. Anyway, I hope you have a fabulous day. It is still vlog mess and, uh, and all that happy horse shit. And I hope that I will see you again soon, and that you have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.